First of all, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Cindy. I'm a student of Office Management and Automation Department of State Vacational Number One Tabana. In this nice occasion, I'm going to talk about Office Management and Automation. Next, I will explain the definition of Office Management and Automation. I will continue by the learning material in this department, and I will explain the advantages, and finally, I will explain the job prospect for the future. The Office Management and Automation Department is about all activities related to office work. It includes recording, administration, communication, archiving, and each other. The use of technology can fix the process of the work's completion in the office and can increase job productivity and effectiveness. In addition, students majoring in office governance automation also master typing manuscript or documents, handling telephone, structuring and managing letters or documents, structuring and managing archives, handling business trips and handling fitting cash funds, preparing meetings or meetings, handling application, and handling information through technology. What are going to be learned in office management and automation? In this department, the learning materials are divided into two parts. First is called basic skill program and second is expertise competence. Now, we are going to talk about basic skill program. In this program, it is further divided into three, namely office technology, correspondence, and archive management. I will give brief explanation for the three. First is office technology. It's implementing technology in various office activities such as recording, organizing, processing, multiplying, shipping, and storing information materials efficiently using office machines. An example for the use of technology today is the use of computers. If in the past you still use type readers, now there are computers that have many advantages. Creating and managing documents is also easier by using a computer. More efficient use of all existing resources, namely money, labor, materials, time, machines and work tools, speed maintenance and work procedures, accessory, and increased production. Next is correspondence. It's process of communication through mail from one part to the other under an organization or individual name. Types of correspondence is similar to the types of correspondence that exist in the company. Correspondence has two types, namely external correspondence, the correspondence with external parties from the company, and internal correspondence, correspondence that carried out by existing employees within the office or internal scope of the company. Third is archiving management. It's file record setting using specific system to be quickly and appropriately rediscovered. One of the goals of the archive is to facilitate the archive searching if needed at any time. The types of archivists consist of dynamic archivists, active archivists, inactive archivists, static archivists, and duplicate archivists. Archivists also use several structuring systems to facilitate coding and determine catchwords and speed up the storage of archived objects, including the alphabetical system, numerical system, geographical system, subjectical system, and chronology system. And that the explanation for expertise competence. It is further divided into five. First is personal management and automation. It's related to the problem of the use of employees or manpower in the order to achieve the goal. The problem with the use of employees in question includes the withdrawal, placement, training, development, to dismissal of employees or employees tailored to the needs of the organization. Second is monetary management and automation. It's related to finance, making financial statements, and achieving goal for the common interest. The management process carried out is also carried out efficiently and effectively so that the results obtained are satisfactory. Third is facilities and infrastructure management and automation. It supports the management of office facilities and infrastructure through procurement, storage, maintenance, investment, 
and reports of facilities and infrastructure. The main function of facilities and infrastructure aims to create comfort, satisfaction, accelerate and expedite work processes and increase productivity. Fourth is public relation and protocol management and automation. It's management function that is carried out on an ongoing and planning basis and through this organization and institution, both public and private. It is trying to build understanding, sympathy, and support from those who have something to do with the organization or institution. Creative and entrepreneurial products also emphasize what is produced from the creativity process into something new, original, and meaningful so that it can have an impact on the development of the creative industry. Next, what are the advantages of obvious management automation? The students who are joining in the department are going to have qualified skills in the field of communication, both oral and written, mastering IT that supports work more efficiently and fluent in foreign languages. And this competency will be obtained in the Office Administration Automation Department. Students may obtain skills that are not learned in other majors, such as, first, the ability to type with 10 fingers blindly. Students will get used to doing assignment quickly without having to look at the keyboard. Second is the ability to master good and correct administration. Manage the company familiar with good and correct language structure. Third is the ability to be an idle secretary. Do filing and handle financial matters. Fourth is table manner skills in this department. Students are prepared to become expert who are ready to work in large companies. Fifth is the ability to use foreign languages. Sixth is the ability in IT services. Seventh, the ability to carry out public communication well. And the last but not least, we're going to talk about the job prospect from this department. So what are the job prospects of office management and automation? Graduates are expected to attain the leading profession in societies such as administration staff, filing officer, customer service officer, office management and automation staff, company staff such as registration, information, finance, and each other, secretary, secretary assistant, organizations administration staff related to students, correspondence and finances, receptionist, personal assistant, assistance manager, and self-employed entrepreneurs. First is secretary. It's an administrative profession that is assistance or support. This title refers to an office worker whose job is to carry out routine work, administrative tasks, or personal or direct duties of his or her superiors. Second is the receptionist. It's an employee who has the duty to greet, serve, provide information to visitors, customers, or interested parties regarding the desired destination. Third is administrative staff. It's required to be neat and can work under pressure. Must be careful about work that has a lot to do with the preparation of database of the work agenda. Fourth is personal staff. People who plan organize, direct, and control over labor, procurement, development, compensation, integration, maintenance, and termination of employment with human resources to achieve the goals of the individuals, organization, and communities. Fifth is event organizer. For example, if a company has an event such as commemorating the day the company was founded, it is the duty of the EO to organize the course of the event. I think I've covered everything. In the future, office management and automation will continue to produce qualified graduates, professional, and always synchronized with Paris business world, both individually and in groups, and can meet the needs that are in line with the needs of the world of work in the field of office, industry, and markets, and business world in general. 
Okay, that's all. Thank you for listening.